Men in kilts playing bagpipes. Green hills and weather that changes very quickly. Here is a partial list of associations that come to your mind when you hear the word Scotland. The country is known for its natural beauty, a rich history spanning thousands of years, and many castles. In this video I would like to talk to you about the last of these topics. Let's start by defining what castles are and how Scottish people use them. A castle is a type of fortified structure that was built during the Middle Ages, mainly by the nobility or the royal family, and by military orders. Scotland's castles have been used for many purposes throughout history, including as residences, as military fortifications, and as symbols of power and wealth. There are over 3,000 castles in the country, about half of which still exist today. The first castles in Scotland date back to the 12th century and were originally built of wood. As the methods of working with heavy materials improved, stone castles became more and more common with features such as thick stone walls, small windows, protected entrances and other defensive elements. The architecture of Scottish castles often reflects their original defensive function. Some of Scotland's castles have been improved over the years for luxurious country living. This reflects the transition from military fortifications to grand residence, embodying the proud heritage of Scots who fought for survival and independence. Local castles are an integral part of the country's history and culture. Edinburgh Castle, Craigmiller Castle, Tour Castle, and Carlavera Castle are some of the most famous in Scotland. Incidentally, the country has several legends about castles with ghosts. One of the most famous is the story of the Piper Ghost at Edinburgh Castle. A piper was sent to explore the underground tunnels of the castle, but never returned. The haunting music of his bagpipes can still be heard echoing through the castle, and visitors have reported seeing a ghostly figure in the castle. Another haunted castle is Ardvrek Castle, situated in the Scottish Highlands. It has legends of ghosts and mermaids, and is said to be the haunt of the Marquis. Myths and legends surround this enigmatic ruin, making it one of the most haunted buildings in Scotland. It should be noted that some castles in Scotland, such as Castle Gloom, do not actually exist and their legends are nothing more than romantic folklore. Many of Scottish castles are now open to the public and are maintained to an excellent standard. Some of them are even available for private ownership. Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie are among the famous people who have castles in Scotland. Their purchase was a castle that had been the property of the actress's family. The British royal family is the owner of Balmoral Castle, a large country house in Aberdeenshire. It's used as the residence of the royal family in Scotland. Several other castles in Scotland are still owned by the nobility. These include Alnwick Castle, Dunotar Castle, and Eileen Donan Castle. The last from this list was seen in the film Highlander, located in Kyle of Lochalsh, Westeros. This castle is set on an island surrounded by majestic scenery. Eileen Donan Castle has been also featured in other movies. There are Bonnie Prince Charlie, the master of Ballantrae, Loch Ness, and James Bond movie. The world is not enough. The castle has a rich history dating back to the 13th century. It was first inhabited around the 6th century, and the first fortified castle was built in the mid-13th century to guard the lands of Kintail. Eileen Donan Castle was rebuilt at least four times, with the current structure built in the 20th century. The castle was partially destroyed in the Jacobite Uprising of 1719 and lay in ruins for almost 200 years. It was restored and reopened in 1932, owned by the Conqueror Charitable Trust. Eileen Donan is open to the public and attracts tens of thousands of visitors each year. What about you, dear viewer? Have you ever dreamt of a visit to a Scottish castle, or even the purchase of one for yourself? I would love to know your thoughts on this in the comments. Thanks for watching.